Hi there. So what we're going to do is talk about using the 3D tools in Illustrator, how we can make basic package mockups using label artwork and the basic three-dimensional uh, tools. Now, something to keep in mind is that the 3D tools in Illustrator are fairly simplistic. They don't give you a three-dimensional perspective grid. They don't give you cameras or other complex three-dimensional tools to model and create detailed objects. Instead, uh, they're very simple. They allow you to do basic extruded shapes or revolved shapes out of silhouettes or other basic vector objects, and they can create the appearance of a three-dimensional object. This is useful for some simple applications, but if you're looking for something that can do a really advanced photorealistic type uh, object, of course, you're going to switch to a regular 3D program. But for some limited uses, you can do some fun stuff with Illustrator. So let's take a look at what we can do. And what I have prepared is a document with a silhouette, a flat silhouette that's drawn to the side and some label artwork, which we can put on the surface of the object. So <clears throat> what I have here are some guides laid out and uh, the shape and the label artwork has been measured to fit. And what we're gonna do is take this gray silhouette shape and we're gonna revolve it and turn it into what might look like a soda can. So when you're gonna do a revolve, what you do is draw one half of the object in silhouette and then the appearance of the object, it gets rotated 360 degrees, turned into a cylinder. So under the effect menu, this is where we find the 3D tools. And in this case, we're gonna to go to the effect menu, we're gonna to go to 3D and we're gonna select revolve. Then we're gonna get the three-dimensional revolve options, this new dialog box. At first, we don't see anything. We have to select preview. So that way we can see that that shape now, its appearance has been revolved at 360 degrees. So it looks like an object. And if you want to position it in space, that's what this little positioning slider does. It takes that objects and rotates it and spins it around. And you can see that it gets its form and its dimension from the detail that was found on the silhouette. And again, all I'm doing is adjusting the appearance of this shape. The shape is still that flat 2D vector object, but the appearance has made it look like it's uh, in dimensional form. There are some basic lighting effects you can apply. If you click on more options, you can move the light source, increase the intensity, do certain things like that that actually make it look a little bit more reflective, a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, a little bit more in shadow. Of course, it's inheriting the color from the surface of that object. Um, it's the color that was based inside that object from the beginning. Uh, before I go further, before I put the label in your work, I do want to mention something. If you click OK and you leave this 3D window, you get the appearance of your object and in space it looks like that three-dimensional cylinder. If you move it, for example, all it does is move the shape. It's not going to reorient in perspective. It's not going to change. You can't rotate it in this view. It is fixed. It's like baked in. It's, it's stuck. And you don't want to mess with it too much at this stage. If you're going to edit it, you actually need to go back in to that 3D option to modify it. But here's the thing. Do not go back to the effect menu and select 3D revolve again. You may think that's what you should do, but don't. What happens when you do that is you crash Illustrator. It doesn't like it because what you're doing is you're adding a 3D effect on top of an already existing 3D effect and it's spinning it, double spinning it and psh, Illustrator gives up. The correct way to modify an existing 3D object is to go back to the window menu and look for what we call the appearance palette. The appearance palette is where you list and store all of the effects that have been applied to an object. And you can see here in this list, it shows the color, the stroke, it shows the opacity, and it shows the 3D revolve. 
which I applied to this object. So that's where I select it to go back to that editing window and I can select preview again and you'll see there this has opened the exact modification that I had applied to that object. So you just got to remember that. Keep, keep track of the appearance palette when you're working with these special effects. All right, now let's do the simple task of putting the label artwork on the surface of the object. Now, I'm going to hit cancel again and then go back um, and, and go through that step. Before I can use this artwork that I've drawn in Illustrator as a piece of art that I can layer on the top of a 3D object, I have to convert it into a symbol. So I need to go to my window menu and I need to open the symbols palette. And you'll see here in my uh, template file here, this label artwork is there in the symbols palette. If it wasn't, let's say I drew this, this artwork here from scratch, it was sitting there ready to go. I would first need to drag and drop it into the symbols palette, making it a, a loaded symbol before I can use it onto the surface of 3D objects. So I just wanna make sure and highlight that step, that this next step won't work unless your artwork has been converted into a symbol. All right, so now I'm ready. I'm gonna click on my object, go back to the appearance palette, click on 3D Revolve, select preview so I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna click on map artwork in the dialog box. Map artwork cycles through the different layers or the different surfaces visible on your three-dimensional object. And you'll notice up here on the top of my window, it counts for me the different surfaces I have. I have surface one, two, three, four, five, six. Eventually I'll get around to the surface that I'm looking for, which is the, the outer shell of the cylinder. And that's represented here in flat uh, 2D wireframe. So for me to now add artwork, what I do is I go to the symbol selector at the top of the map art window. I look for that symbol that I want to use. And then I drag it into the white grid. So here's the thing. The white grid, the white area of the surface grid is what's visible to me right now. Okay, so imagine that the can had been cut in half and laid out flat. Only part of it would be visible uh, when it's facing you. And that's what the white area represents. And so what you wanna do is position your artwork into that area so it's on the visible side, not the dark side of the object. Another thing you can do here is it says there is an option to shade artwork. I like doing that. What that does is it transposes the lighting effect that is already on the outer 3D object and it transposes it onto the surface of the label graphic that you've added to your object. So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna click OK again and now let go. Also gonna go ahead and hide the guides so you don't have to look at those anymore. So that's a fairly simple way to set up an object. First thing, create your silhouette, plan for your bottle or can or uh, container shape that you wanna use. Use a grid of some kind to draw your label so it's the correct size. Convert that label into a symbol. Make your silhouette object into a three-dimensional object and then apply the symbol graphic to the surface. And that's gonna give you a pretty straightforward uh, simple mock-up. All right, so hope that helps. Maybe you can use that for your 3D products.